Hi YouTube, back again with my little boy Ryan and today we're going to look at um, fixing the door yeah we're going to fix the car, we're going to fix the uh, the rear boot uh, uh, pump to uh, unlock the doors properly because it's a bit hit and miss every now and then so I actually went and bought one from eBay using um, the part number, I'm actually not sure what the part number is but um, yeah I've uh, managed to get a hold of one that looks quite similar that is the original I'll take a photo of that and maybe I can use that um, as yeah as one of the um, splash screens but yeah we're going to oh, Whatever. see if we can uh, replace that with that all right Yep. And um, yeah, hopefully uh, popped it back on there. Um, so there was a rod that uh, came off it. <laughs> Almost, mate. A uh, Which I got off. So I'll. Um, oh, it's a plug, mate. So after I get that uh, swapped over, I will come back and show you how to reinstall it. Right, so I've transferred the uh, the mounting uh, clips. So um, yeah, these two come off from there. I've also took uh, the um, the mounting clip for the rod as well, which I'll show you how that how that clips back in. Um, I wasn't going to film this, but I think it's quite uh, common. It's a common issue, so I'm sure it'll help someone else out there. So what I'm going to do now, if my son lets me. Ryan, let me. Ready? Is um, so I slid that out like so. I think it just sits like. Oh, thanks, mate. I think it just sits like that. Yeah, slides in, and you can see the mounting holes there. And see where it was last bolted on. Just see if you can put that um, the rest of the screws back on. So they are just. Little T20s or T25s. No. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Double trouble, as I oh, always say. <laughs> Papa. Yes, mate. Which I poured it down. Did you pour something down? Yeah. What did you pour down, mate? All right. Please. Screws back in there. What did you What did you pour back down? Huh? The juice? Where did you pour it? Alright, got... All right, got... fellas, guys, I'm going to have to come back and deal with this uh, juice business. Alright, so I'm back. The, uh, the rod, I believe, goes in like, goes in like the, the little slight hole there, so you just pop that in, bend it towards this way, so... Then you can um, bolt it in place to the actual door lock. Okay, pop that back in. And now that's gonna work like a charm. Yeah, mate. I haven't seen the recording. Yeah, you can see it after that. Right, so to take uh, uh, to get to this section here, sorry, we had to remove the rear door trims. There were. Four Philip screws. Let me take off. So what I'll do is I will reassemble the trim and I'll show you where the Phillips head screws are. Back together again. So I'm back. Back the rear trim is back. Um, you do have to remove these this rear light and you've got to stick a screwdriver in here to unhook it. A little bit of a pain. That's okay. So there's a can't see it, but there's a. Oh, there is one, two, three, four Phillips in there, and you're gonna remove the rear, you know, door trim bit. So that'll be fun. Do you? Yeah. All right, I'm coming. Judy calls. Alrighty, so that's that concludes it. So time for the test. Um, it never used to, um, it would be hit and miss to open up, but
but now and closing it was a bit of an issue as well because I think it got stuck open so when you tried to close it um, it would just wouldn't lock wouldn't engage so thank goodness it was the pump because that was an easy one bit of a short one thank you for watching and um, yeah I'll see you in the next video when um, yeah when I release it thanks <laughs>